Let's get some practice taking sums of infinite geometric series. So we have one over here, and just to make sure that we're dealing with the geometric series, let's make sure we have a common ratio. So let's see, to go from the first term to the second term, we multiply by one third, and then go to the next term, we are going to multiply by one third again, and we're going to keep doing that. So we can rewrite the series as eight plus eight times one third, eight times one third, plus, plus eight times one third squared, eight times one third squared. Each successive term, we multiply by one third again. And so when you look at it this way, you're like, okay, we could write this in sigma notation. This is going to be equal to, so this, the first thing we wrote is equal to this, which is equal to, this is equal to the sum, the sum, and we could start at zero or at one, depending on how we'd like to do it. We could say from k is equal to zero, and this is an infinite series right here. We're just gonna keep on going forever. So to infinity of, well, what's our first term? Our first term is eight, so it's going to be eight times our common ratio, times our common ratio, one third, to the k, to the k power. And let me just verify that this indeed works. And I always do this just as a reality check and I encourage you to do the same. So when k equals a zero, that should be the first term right over here. You get eight times one third to the zero power, which is indeed eight. When k is equal to one, that's gonna be our second term here. That's going to be eight times one third to the first power. That's what we have here. And so when k is equal to a two, that is this term right over here. So these, these are all describing the same thing. So now that we've seen that we can write a geometric series in multiple ways, let's find the sum. Well, we've seen before, and we prove it in other videos, if you have a sum from k equals zero to infinity, and you have your first term a times r to the k power, r to the k power, Assuming this converges, so assuming that the absolute value of your common ratio is less than one, this is what you need, needs to be true for convergence, this is going to be equal to, this is going to be equal to our first term, which is a over, over one minus our common ratio one minus our common ratio. And if this looks unfamiliar to you, I encourage you to watch the video where we, uh, where we find the formula, we derive the formula for the sum of an infinite geometric series. But just applying that over here, we are going to get, we are going to get, this is going to be equal to our first term, which is eight. So that is eight over one minus, one minus our common ratio over one third. And we know this is going to converge because our common ratio, the, the magnitude, the absolute value of one third is indeed less than one. And so this is all going to converge to, this is going to converge to eight over, one minus one third is two thirds, two thirds, which is the same thing as eight times three halves, which is, let's see, this could become, divide eight by two, that becomes four, and so this, is, this will become 12. 